Michelin, a better way forward. Second stage of the Dakar with a large loop around Pisco started with 85 km of link section, then 242 km of special. And Carlos Sainz will probably remember km 75 for a long time. There stands a complicated dune, so devilish that the 2010 winner has to backtrack. He lost a huge amount of time and as a consequence the overall lead. It wasn't a good day for the team Qatar anyway, as Nasser al has also lost a lot of time. This was a godsend for Stefan Peter Ransel. The title holder decided to take his Mini on a different way, the right one apparently. Peter Ransel and his co-pilot Jean-Pierre Cotteret take the stage win ahead of Genial de Villiers on Toyota and the astonishing Renaud Chabot fifth yesterday with his team SMG buggy. The trio is also at the top of the general classification. Things didn't improve for the team Qatar. Alatia is 5th at 11 minutes and Carlos Sainz is 7th, but he lost 18 minutes and 3 seconds because of this awful dune. Gerlin Chichry, Chabot's teammate, was in a good pace, but a puncture cost him over 32 minutes at the arrival. Of course, we're just starting this 2013 Dakar, but this loop in the sand proved the importance of navigation and strategies. This Sunday, the buggies had all it takes to do well, as Chabot illustrates, but under one condition, to make the right choices and to avoid bad luck. For the bikes, kilometer 75 was also a turning point. At this moment in the race, the leaders are still grouped. Joan Barreda Bord, despite leaving in 10th position, leads the way, but Depre and Chaleco Lopez are in touch. The Spaniard then decides to escape. At the arrival, the damage is done for Chaleco and Depre. Barreda Bord takes the stage win in 2 hours, 42 minutes and 31 seconds. The title holder remains favorite to the final success, but today he loses 10 minutes on the stage winner, new overall leader, and Lopez is now 18 minutes adrift. Of course, this was only the first true stage and everything can still change, but it sure is not the perfect start to the rally that these two contenders had hoped for. Another rider had a better day, David Castor signed a good second part of the special stage and finished third. The second position went to Portugal's Ruben Faria, who only loses 6 minutes and 26 seconds on Barreda. 